It's not often you get to witness history, but it's even more uncommon to watch a legend being born right before your very eyes. This comes in the form of Jairus Lyles, the 6-2 guard who led number 16 seeded UMBC over number 1 seed Virginia, the first upset of its kind in the history of the NCAA tournament. A feat many are calling the greatest upset in the history of American sports. However, in all the chaos, one question still remains. Who is Jairus Lyles, and why did he make dropping 28 points on the top team in the nation look so easy? All of these questions made me want to take a deeper look at Lyles' career and how he got to this point. Lyles attended the Matha Catholic High School, which has produced several pro players, including the likes of Victor Oladipo, Markel Fultz, Jerry and Grant, and Keith Bogans. Their basketball program is highly touted, and he was even highly recruited out of high school, where he was ranked 197th in his class in 2013, and even ranked in the top 100 by several recruiting bases. This led to him committing to VCU over the likes of West Virginia and Virginia Tech, where he played his freshman season before transferring to Robert Morris University in 2014, where he didn't even compete in basketball for an entire season. He then transferred to UMBC in the spring semester of 2015, where he joined the basketball program. This decision would turn out to pay off as he began to play his best basketball of his collegiate career, averaging 23 points per game his sophomore season, 18.9 his junior season, and then 20 points per game this season, which was enough to get him up to number 17 on the school's all-time scoring list as of before the start of the NCAA tournament. But the question on many people's minds is how was he able to play so well against the nation's number one defense? A quick look at his game reveals three very key components of what makes him such a special player. Number one is the fact that he's fearless and isn't afraid to take big shots and carry his team when they need him. This was on full display in round one against Virginia where it seemed like every time they needed a basket he was always there coming up big in the clutch. Not many players, especially from the mid-major level, would have been as prepared as Lyles was to step up and lead their team to victory under such a big national spotlight. I think this is one of the keys to his game and the reason that he's really set apart from other people that play his position and they're in his situation. He seemed very well prepared for this moment and was able to seize it the best that he could. The second key component of his game that I thought was fairly obvious was the way he could handle the ball. He was able to take the ball anywhere on the court he wanted to go. He was able to set up his teammates with the dribble and especially get shots for himself, which I think was major keys to getting around Virginia's defense. And this opened up the third key that I see to his game, which is the fact that he's just a natural scorer. He has the ability to create shots inside the paint as well as around the perimeter where he shoots 40% from three. He had a good shot off the dribble and was able to get in spaces of the defense that most guys wouldn't be able to sneak into and even hit a couple transition threes that I thought were pretty advanced for someone who's not really known as a shooter on the scouting report. Overall it's clear that Lyles has been doing this for a long time and he's just now getting the national attention that he probably deserves. The way he's created his own path to success, deciding to attend a mid-major program when he was on the roster of a school like VCU shows how much Lyles believes in himself and just goes to show how consistently pursuing dreams can lead you to accomplishing things that people thought could never be done, like ending a 135 game streak and writing your name in the history books. I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you again for all your constant support. I know this was quick, but I really, after watching that game, I felt like I had to put out a video about this guy. I wanted to do research and see exactly what his background was. I'm looking forward to the rest of the tournament. This video is being recorded the night of the game, and it's probably going to be uploaded either tonight or the day after. So as of now, I don't know what's going to happen the rest of the tournament, but I'm hoping that Lyles is going to continue to perform at this level because UMBC is a fun team to watch, and I know everybody loves a good Cinderella story around March. Don't forget to drop a like, leave feedback in the comment section below, and subscribe for more. Remember to turn on post notifications so you don't miss any new content and connect with me on social media. Again, thank you guys for watching. God bless.